First book of Samuel, chapter 1. Now there was a certain man of Ramathim Zophim, of Mount Ephraim, whose name was Elekna, the son of Jerma, the son of Elihu, the son of Tau, the son of Ziph, an Ephratite. And he had two wives. The name of one was Hannah, and the name of the other, Peniah. And Peniah had children, but Hannah had no children. And this man went up out of the city yearly to worship and sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, the priests of the Lord, were there. And when the time was that Alaka offered, he gave to Phinehas his wife and to all her sons and daughters portions. But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion, portion for he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. And her adversary also provoked her sore, for to make her fret, because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah, her husband, to her, Hannah, why weepest thou? Why eat thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? Am not I better to thee than ten sons? So Hannah rose up at after they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon the seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto the Lord, and wept sore. And she vowed a vow, and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man-child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spoke in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunk. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunk? Put away the wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Count not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial, for out of the abundance of my, com my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, the God of Israel, grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of them. And she said, Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. And they rose up in the morning early and worshipped before the Lord, and returned and came to their house in Ramah. And El Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. Wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come about, Hannah had conceived that she bore a son, and called his name Samuel saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. And the man Elkanah and all his house went up to the offer of the Lord the yearly sacrifice and his vow. But Hannah went not up, for she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned. Then I will bring him that he may appear before the Lord and there abide forever. And Elkanah her husband said unto her, Do what seems thee good. Wait until thou have weaned him, only the Lord establish his word. So the woman abode and gave her son suck until she weaned him. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her, with three bulls and one ephah of flour and a bottle of wine, and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh, and the child was young. And they slew the bull and brought the child to Eli, and she said, O my Lord, as thy soul lives, my Lord, I am the woman that stood by thee here, praying unto the Lord. For this child I have prayed, and the Lord has given me my petition which I asked of him. Therefore also I have lent him as the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be lent to the Lord, and he worshiped the Lord there. Chapter 2 And Hannah prayed and said, my heart rejoices in the Lord, mine horn is exalted in the Lord, my mouth is enlarged over mine enemies, because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as the Lord, 
for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Talk no more so exceeding proudly, let not arrogancy come in your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumble are girded with strength. They that are they that were full have hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry ceased, so that the barren has borne seven, and she that has many children is waxed feeble. The Lord kills and marks alive. He brings down to the grave and brings up. The Lord marks poor and marks rich. He brings low and lifts up. He rises up the poor out of the dust and lifts up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes, to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world on them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken into pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king, and exalt the horn of his anointed. And Elkanah went to Ramah to his house, and the child did minister unto the Lord before Eli the priest. Now the sons of Eli were sons of Belal. They knew not the Lord. And the priest's custom with the people was that when any man offered sacrifice, the priest's servants came. The flesh was in seething with a flesh hook of three teeth in his hand. And he struck into the pan or kettle or cauldron or pot all the flesh hook brought up the priest took for himself. So they did in Shiloh unto all Israelites that came thither. Also, before they burnt the fat, the priest's servants came and said to the man that sacrificed, Give flesh to roast for the priest, for he will not have sodden flesh of thee but raw. And if any man said unto him, Let them not fail to burn the fat presently, and then take as much as the soul desired, then he would answer him, No, but thou shalt give it to me now, and if not, I will take it by force." Wherefore the sin of the young men was very great before the Lord of men abhorred the offering of the Lord. But Samuel ministered before the Lord, being a child girded with a linen ephod. Moreover, his mother made him a little coat and brought it to him from year to year when she came up with her husband to offer the yearly sacrifice. And Eli blessed Elkanah and his wife and said, The Lord give thee seed of this woman for the loan which is lent to the Lord. And they went unto their own home. And the Lord visited Hannah, so that she conceived, and bore three sons, two daughters. And the child Samuel grew before the Lord. Now Eli was very old, and heard that his sons did unto Israel, and how they lay with the women that assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And he said unto them, Why do you such things? For I hear your evil dealings by all these people. No, my sons, for it is no good report that I hear. You make the Lord people to transgress. If one man sin against another, the judge shall judge him. But if a man sin against the Lord, who shall entreat for him? Notwithstanding, they hearkened not unto the voice of their father, because the Lord would slay them. But the child Samuel grew on, and was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. And there came a man of God unto Eli, and said unto him, Thus says the Lord, Did I plainly appear unto the house of thy father, when thy were in Egypt and Pharaoh's house? And did I choose him out of all the tribes of Israel, to be my priest, to offer up mine altar, to burn incense, to wear an ephod before me? And did I give unto the house thy father of offerings, made by fire of the children of Israel? Wherefore kick you at my sacrifice and at mine offering, which I have commanded in my habitation, and honors thy sons above me to make yourselves fat with the chiefs of all the offerings of Israel my people? Wherefore the Lord God of Israel says, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever. But now the Lord says, Be it far from me, for them that honor me I will honor, and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Behold, the days come that I will cut off thine arm, and the arm of the father's house, that there shall not be an old man in thine house. 
and thou shalt see an enemy in my habitation, in all the wealth which God shall give Israel, and there shall not be an old man in thine house forever. And the man of thine whom I shall not cut off from mine altar shall be to consume thine eyes, and to grieve thine heart, and all the increase of the house shall die in the flowers of their age. And this shall be a sign unto thee, that shall come upon the two sons of Hophni and Phinehas, in one day they shall die both of them. And I will raise me up faithful priests that shall do according to that which is in mine heart and in my mind, and I will build them a sure house, and he shall walk before me anointed forever. And it shall come to pass that every one that is left in the house shall come and crouch to him for a piece of silver and a morsel of bread, and shall say, Put me, I pray thee, into one of the priests' office, that I may eat a piece of bread. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.